Now, Newsman Dennis Dingley presents his unique look at current events in another of his wide-ranging daily video blogs. Hi and thanks again, everybody. I stopped by the post office today and picked up this publication. It points out the fact, and this is something a lot of people don't know, it's technically illegal for an American citizen to bet in a foreign lottery. And according to the publication, it's not just illegal, it's dangerous. According to the publication, the monetary point that should send up a red flag is $250. Anytime you're asked to send in that much or more in order to get money back, look out. The publication from the post office follows on the heels of a warning by the Better Business Bureau. That venerable organization points out that many of the foreign scammers use emails with letterheads that look as if they are from legitimate financial institutions. The Bank of America is a frequent target of scammers who use that company's logo a lot. The Better Business Bureau's warnings can be pared down to two. Never send money to get money. Legitimate sweepstakes never ask for money to cover insurance or taxes or mailing or anything. Secondly, scammers pressure people to wire money through commercial companies. But wiring money, believe it or not, is the same as sending cash. When the scammers have your money, try to get it back. The sad bottom line is that if it seems too good to be true, it likely is. I'm Dennis Daly with your daily news update.